What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman here for Stochastic.com. Back again with the NBA DFS contenders on DraftKings for Tuesday, December 13th. Now, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. Let me know in the comments section who your favorite plays are or your least favorite plays. But if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. I will be in the comments section asking them. Sorry, I did it again. I did the same thing on the FanDuel video. I will be in the comments section answering your questions. I won't be asking the questions. That would be really weird. I don't know what I would be doing there. What I do want you to do, I have a question for you. Do you want to sign up at BetMGM and get a really good deal? The answer should be yes. Click the link in the description of the video, head on over, make a deposit. It's gotta be at least 10 bucks. My recommendation, go for a bunch more because the first bet you make is a risk-free bet up to $1,000. That is an incredible offer for you guys. If it wins, fantastic. You just move along, all that money is in your account. If it loses, they will put it back in in free bets so you can run it back again if you're interested. And that's not the only thing that you get. Two free months of Stochastic Plus Platinum. Incredible offer, folks. When it goes away, you're gonna kick yourself for not taking advantage, so do it now. Speaking of now, we're gonna round out the bottom of my top 10. Drew Holiday, Tobias Harris, Marcus Smart, Alperin Shingoon, and Damian Lee on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five plays for today? It's time to find out. First up at number five, we're going to Kevin Porter Jr., point guard eligible, 7,100, projected for 39. The goal is 45. He's in the optimal lineup 21% of the time. KPJ plays like 34 minutes a game. He's a 1.1 fantasy point per minute guy. Gets a matchup against Phoenix at home. They're six-point dogs. That's pretty competitive for the Houston Rockets. No Devin Booker on the Phoenix side just means this one should be a little bit closer. 25% usage for KPJ, 19 points, six assists, five and a half rebounds, a stock and a half. To me, all that looks pretty good. 71, you wish he had the MPE. That's the only thing that I don't like. But for right now, given the five game slate, Kevin Porter Jr. has a chance to really mess it up. 45 point goal, 24 point boom. A quarter of the time, you're gonna need him. At number four, we go to Utah for Kelly Olynyk, power forward center eligible, 5,900, projected for 31 and a half. The goal is 39 and a half, and he is in the optimal lineup 22% of the time. It's pace neutral against the Pelicans, they're two and a half point dogs. This one should just be ultra competitive, and when it's competitive, you get 31 minutes out of Kelly Olynyk. He's a fantasy point per minute guy, 19% usage, 14 points, six boards, three and a half assists, and two stocks. I think the matchup fits him pretty well. Can space the floor on Joval when Joval is out there. Worst case scenario, it's Nance, but I think that'll be fine. I just think Kelly Olenek is primed to shoot a bunch of threes today, and I think we could take a shot on them going in, but power forward center is the real appeal. You could roster him in a bunch of different spots. At number three, we have DeAndre Ayton, center eligible 7,200, projected for 40. The goal is 46. He's in the optimal lineup 24% of the time. 32 minutes for Ayton. 1.26 fantasy points per minute, 23% usage. Again, no Devin Booker for this one. Uh, everything gets better for the Phoenix Suns. 21 points, 12 boards, two assists, a stock and a half. Matchup against Houston. Uh, Alperin Shingun certainly not slowing him down, and it's not going to be Bruno Fernando or really anybody else. If Aiton wants to impose his will on this game, he is like very ripe for a monster. And at 7,200, I don't even think he needs a monster to break this sleep. Big time step up in tier here for Chris Middleton, number two, small forward eligible, just 6K, projected for 35 and a half. The goal is 40. He's in the optimal lineup 32% of the time. We saw Middleton play north of 30 minutes, his second to last time out. Rolled his ankle in the most recent game, but that's not going to slow him down here. So I gave him 32 minutes. This is a massive pace up spot against Golden State. You expect an ultra competitive game with two of the better teams in the NBA. I don't care what the Warriors record is right now. We're talking about two of the better teams in the NBA. 1.1 fantasy points per minute for Middleton. 26% usage, 19 points, five boards, five assists, and a steal. He's just not priced correctly. 6K is insane. He's basically back to his normal minutes. It's not like Chris Middleton's normally a 36 minute a game guy. We're talking 32, 33. And I think he's live to just play those minutes. If he's playing 32 minutes today, he's one of the best plays you're gonna find. In fact, he's second. Now, before we get to that number one contender, one last reminder to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. Let me know in the comments what you like. And if you have any questions, let me know. I'm happy to answer them. And finally, please go sign up at BetMGM. Don't sleep on this offer. It will go away soon, and you're going to be mad when it does. 
Much like Middleton, the number one contender is just not priced correctly. That's point guard Chris Paul, 6,200. Projected for 39. The goal's 41. Optimal lineup 33% of the time. That's exactly how many minutes I have him playing, too. 33. No Devin Booker. 1.18 fantasy points per minute in a matchup against Houston. Revenge narrative if you want to look at it like that. 22% usage. Gets a usage bump with no Booker around. 16 points, 9.5 assists. Oddly enough, gets an assist bump as well. Five rebounds and a stock and a half. This one's simple. I wouldn't have expected it today, but Chris Paul and Chris Middleton, we're getting two Chris's, two different spellings, doesn't matter. They're the two best plays on the slate because neither one of them should be priced in the low 6K range today. For right now, I give Paul the edge, but either way, I want them both. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NBA DFS contenders on DraftKings for Tuesday, December 13th. FanDuel version's around here somewhere, so check it out. Good luck tonight, everybody. Win some money. We are back again tomorrow morning for another edition of The Contenders.